Good morning. Please kneel and join me for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh. From the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the third week of Easter. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Bobet Hasmin, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Please rise. Jesus is risen, praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness, life has vanquished death. Through his death and resurrection, Christ has saved us all. We too shall rise in glory if we believe in Him. Jesus is risen. Praise your Savior and your Lord. All the earth proclaim the goodness. Life has vanquished death. Members all of God's own heart. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our celebra celebration, first let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, done and in, in what I have failed, failed to do, through my, my fault, through, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to, to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it, and so the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We heard in today's Gospel, Jesus telling the crowds, I am the bread of life. And he also said, that anyone who comes to him will never hunger or thirst. 
Now the question is, did the crowds really understood what Jesus said to them? And did they realize that Jesus was not speaking or telling them literally about the bread that they had eaten during the multiplication? Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was not talking about the food or drink that we consume daily or the food that we always have on our table. Rather, Jesus was talking of our spiritual hunger and thirst. Again, we may ask ourselves, what is a spiritual hunger or a spiritual thirst? The spiritual hunger that we are looking for might be love, might be friendship, might be financial stability, or healthy, happy, and normal family, and many other more. We human beings, as we all know, have many hungers, but often, oftentimes we try to satisfy our hunger with money, material things, or even people, and even to the extent of eating too much food or drinking much. Yes, these things do satisfy us to the extent, but our deepest hunger is hunger for God. We can have all the money in the world and have plenty of friends, but if God if Jesus or the Spirit of God is not part of our lives, certainly nothing. Yes, nothing will satisfy us. We will always be craving. And that is why, my dear brothers and sisters, today we are invited to look at ourselves. Ask ourselves, what do we really hunger or thirst for? What do we really long for? And how do we experience that longing? My brothers and sisters, the reality is that no matter how much we have in life or how much people we love, only God alone will satisfy our hunger and longing. And so the final question that I would like to propose for our personal reflection today is that, do I have time to spend with God today in order to satisfy my deepest longing? Confident in, gen in the generosity of God the Father who gave us His Son in the Eucharist as food for our souls, we bring before Him our needs. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders may witness to Jesus, who is the bread of life in a world which is hungry for meaning. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may be actively involved in finding solutions to the needs and concerns of our poor brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who see little need for God in their lives may be drawn back to the nourishment of the Eucharist. We pray. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may experience the loving presence of Christ through the reception of the Eucharist. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed who ate the bread of life may live forever. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
In silence, let us pray for our own personal intentions. Heavenly Father, make us truly grateful for the gift of Eucharist, which gives us hope and meaning to our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink. Oh, let all who are thirsty come to me and drink. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Lord. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink, O oh, let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink. I will pour my spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Come to me and drink, come to me and drink, oh let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink. Please rise. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the and Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who, li who lives forever. Therefore, overcomes with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially Saint Arnold Johnson and Saint Joseph, pray in Adamets, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Christ, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now with confidence to our Heavenly Father, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us, us not into temptation, into temptation but deliver us, us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with yours. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. of the world, Grand. 
My dear friends, behold, for this is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are invited to His heavenly banquet. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only, only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has already been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer service in honor of St. Joseph. Be blessed, St. Joseph, a person according to the heart of God. You were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We honor in your person the choice of the Eternal Father who wished to share with you his power over his only begotten Son, the choice of the Divine Son himself who wanted to be subject to you and be called son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit, who singled you out to be protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary Most Holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and continence which you manifested all during those years when you lived under the same roof with the Virgin Mother. Praise be the Lord, who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed and praised, our Father and Protector, for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever Virgin, and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We thank you for the loving care which you bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the Divine Child. Show that same fatherly care now to us who are members of Christ in the mystical bond of His body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us the purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us your lively faith, your prompt obedience to God's will, your unassuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father, and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist also all temporal rulers. Be the model of patience and diligence for all workers and come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted, so that they obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did, by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of the Triune God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of St. Joseph. <clears throat> Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, our protector, Saint Joseph, 
that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding therefore in your goodness, we come before you and humbly beg you. Do not despise our petitions, guardian father of our Savior, graciously receive them. Amen. Amen. Ancient Prayer to St. Joseph O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord so that so having that engaged here below your heavenly power, I may, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most, the most loving, loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach, while he rests near your heart. Press him close in my name, and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.